Uh, hello once again guys and gals, very welcome to another MATLAB tutorial. The objective of this tutorial is to give you a holistic understanding of generating repeatable random numbers in MATLAB. Through this tutorial, I've supposed that you have already been familiar with functions that generates random numbers in MATLAB for us. In this tutorial, I've selected two of these functions, which are RAND functions, which uh, generates uniformly distributed random numbers, and RAND M functions, which which uh, basically mm, generates normally distributed random numbers for us. Uh, let's see the result of these codes or these two functions by executing my code here. Uh, as you see here, RAND functions returns um, n by n. Here, n is equal to five matrix where uh, its array are in an interval of zero and one, and RAND n functions returns uh, a random matrix or n by n random matrix uh, where its array are normally distributed with mean equal to zero uh, with the variance of equal to one. For sure, there are many other random generators functions that we don't get into them because they are out of the scope of this tutorial. But as you might see, um, in the MATLAB, every time you execute your code by, or even by pressing F5 in your keyboards, the generator reset itself and generates new values for, for your va variables and doesn't return the same results as before. Um, it might be a big question for us um, that uh, what can we do if we need repeatable random number generations in our codes that generate the same results every time we execute the codes. We can uh, easily do that if at the very beginning of our codes we are uh, adding the comment of RNG that in the parentheses one, these RNG functions are stand for of random number gen generator. Very nice. Uh, from now on, anytime I'm executing the codes, you will get the same random number as before. And also, um, we need to add generator type. Uh, for instance, in this uh, example, let's grab the twister, the twister type here by adding the twister string in RNG functions. Uh, it might be again a question for you, why do we need to add, or why do we need to add the, uh, the generator type in RNG command? Because we want to ensure that the behavior of the codes uh, that we uh, have written today in our current MATLAB version returns the same results if we run our code in the future MATLAB release or after running someone else random number code. Okay, so once again, you can see every time I'm uh, executing the code, I'm confident with repeatability of my random number generators. Um, this, this was all the story you need to know in correspondence with the repeatable random numbers generation in MATLAB, basically. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, I'm pleased if you comment it down below for me uh, for further cl clarification basically from my side. And uh, don't forget to push the like button if you learn something new in the MATLAB.